Big announcements, everyone. NASA has just revealed the estimated launch date for SpaceX's Flight 7, and I think it might give you mixed feelings. Why, you ask? Meanwhile, S-26 has officially concluded its role after making many significant contributions to the Starship program. And finally, we'll wrap things up with some exciting news about key milestones achieved by Falcon 9. Alright, let's kick off your week by diving into all this in today's episode of Great SpaceX. Starship has made the second half of this year truly exhilarating, marking significant milestones and driving global interest in its potential. With two flights conducted in October and November just 37 days apart, many, including myself, were hopeful about the prospect of a third flight before the year's end, Flight 7. This seemed achievable if SpaceX could rapidly refurbish the launch pad and accelerate the testing of Booster 14 and Ship 33. Given that no substantial changes to the flight process were anticipated, regulatory approvals were not expected to cause delays. Unfortunately, that prediction has not materialized, as Flight 7 is now officially slated for early next year. The updated timeline was disclosed in a NASA document submitted to the FAA. According to the report, NASA 5, a specially equipped aircraft, will deploy to Perth, Australia on January 3rd, 2025, in preparation for Starship's Flight 7, targeted for January 11th of 2025. NASA's mission is to observe Starship's re-entry and peak heating phases, with the spacecraft expected to splash down in the eastern Indian Ocean roughly an hour after launch. The document also highlights collaboration with Australia's Civil Aviation Safety Authority, or CASA, which has agreed to honor FAA exemptions under the Melbourne Oceanic Center's jurisdiction for this mission. This level of international coordination underscores the growing significance of Starship. NASA's involvement demonstrates a critical interest in evaluating Starship's capabilities, especially for future missions like Artemis. The agency's statement emphasizes its commitment to assisting SpaceX with FAA-related challenges. NASA is requesting this exemption receive expedited review and consideration to accommodate multiple flights over the Gulf of Mexico and southeast Texas, beginning as soon as December 7th of 2024. Additionally, CAS's collaboration signifies Starship's expanding global footprint. This partnership hints at potential future opportunities for deeper ties with Australia, such as using Australian waters for recovery operations, or possibly establishing a launch site in the country. If realized, these initiatives would mark a significant milestone for the Starship program and its international reach. Focusing back on the timeline, the January 11th date aligns seamlessly with NASA's deployment schedule, making it a stronger contender for an on-time launch. This would create a 53-day gap between flights 6 and 7, a bit longer than the record-breaking 37-day turnaround between flights 5 and 6. While this delay may feel like a setback, it likely reflects SpaceX's focus on meticulous preparation following the challenges encountered during flight 6. One of the key issues during Flight 6 was a misaligned communication system atop the launch tower, which led to the booster catching attempt being aborted. Given that catching the super heavy booster is a central goal for Flight 7, ensuring every component is functioning perfectly is essential. Successfully catching the booster would pave the way for critical objectives like catching starships and establishing a robust refueling system for long-term space missions. Flight 7 will also introduce Starship Version 2, featuring significant upgrades to its flap and heat shield systems. These enhancements are crucial for improving performance and reliability, but they also require extensive testing and validation to ensure success. SpaceX is already well into the testing phase. S-33 has completed its cryogenic testing and is currently being equipped with engines for static fire tests. Similarly, B-14 has also finished cryogenic testing and is awaiting its static fire trial, which will commence once launch pad refurbishment concludes. Current projections place these tests around mid-December, followed by integration testing to prepare for the early January launch. This timeline likely shifts the first Starship catching attempt to February, but SpaceX remains on track to begin constructing its orbital refueling system by March of 2025. This measured yet steady progress demonstrates the company's commitment to balancing innovation with safety and performance. With Flight 7 postponed to next year, SpaceX will end 2024 with four Starship flights, a remarkable improvement compared to 2023. These flights mark a significant leap forward in refining Starship's capabilities, building a solid foundation for an even more ambitious 2025. This timeline likely shifts the first booster catching attempt to February, but SpaceX remains on track to begin constructing its orbital refueling system by March of 2025. 
This measured yet steady progress demonstrates the company's commitment to balancing innovation with safety and performance. With Flight 7 postponed to next year, SpaceX will end 2024 with four Starship flights, a remarkable improvement compared to 2023. These flights mark a significant leap forward in refining Starship's capabilities, building a solid foundation for an even more ambitious 2025. As the year wraps up, December serves as a valuable opportunity to regroup, strategize, and prepare for the challenges and milestones of the coming year. Interestingly, the January 11th, 2025 launch date carries symbolic significance. The alignment of all ones could be seen as a metaphor for Starship's emergence as the top player in the aerospace industry in 2025. If you share this interpretation, reply with ready triple one in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on SpaceX's groundbreaking progress. By the way, did you know that 80% of our viewers haven't subscribed yet? Subscribing helps our channel grow and ensures you never miss the latest updates on SpaceX's journey. Thank you for your continued support. As we look to 2025, the advancements in Starship technology, coupled with streamlined regulatory processes, promise an exciting new chapter in space exploration. From booster-catching milestones to the development of orbital refueling systems, SpaceX is poised to redefine what's possible in the aerospace industry. Are you ready to embark on this journey with us? Wrapping up the Flight 7 updates, let's shift focus to the conclusion of S-26's journey. As we know, S-26 stacked back in December of 2022 stood out as one of the most unique Starship prototypes lacking both flaps and heat shields. Many speculated it would become either the Starship Tanker or the Starship HLS, including myself. However, these predictions never materialized. Instead, S-26 made immense contributions over the past two years. This prototype played a pivotal role in numerous critical tests at Starbase, notably becoming the first to trial the Flame Trench system at Massey. After its significant contributions, S-26's journey has now officially concluded. Signs of its retirement began appearing in August, when its engines were progressively removed. On November 20th, S-26 was transferred from Rocket Garden to High Bay where it was placed on a removal stand. Shortly after, the aft section was rolled out of the high bay. Over the following days, November 21st through the 23rd, other sections of S-26 were disassembled and moved out, marking the end of its service. S-26's conclusion symbolizes the closing chapter of the Starship V-1 era. SpaceX is now transitioning to Starship V-2 prototypes, more powerful and reliable vehicles designed to achieve even greater milestones. While the future promises exciting advancements, we should not overlook the foundational role S-26 played in shaping the Starship program's progress. Let's take a moment to honor its contributions. Feel free to share your gratitude for S-26 in the comments. Feeling a bit down? Let's brighten things up with some exciting news about the Falcon 9. At 12.25 a.m. Eastern on November 24th, SpaceX launched a special mission from SLC-4E in California, successfully deploying 20 Starlink satellites into orbit. While this mission was not streamed live, SpaceX shared updates via Starlink data and two confirmations on X. This mission marked several impressive milestones. The booster B-1075 landed safely on the Of Course I Still Love You drone ship, achieving its 15th successful landing. This was also the 110th landing on the OCISLY drone ship and the 373rd successful Falcon booster landing overall. Remarkable achievements by any standard. However, the most monumental milestone of this mission was Falcon 9's 400th flight. This underscores the rocket's dominance in the aerospace industry. The Falcon 9's launch cadence has accelerated dramatically over the past three years, including 2022, 2023, and 2024, which collectively account for 66% of these historic flights. Notably, in 2022, the Falcon 9 became the most launched rocket in a single year, surpassing the long-standing record held by the Soyuz U. This year, 2024, has set another benchmark as the Falcon 9 exceeded 100 launches within a single calendar year. Adding to the excitement, this latest mission marked Falcon 9's 115th launch of 2024, 
further solidifying its unparalleled frequency and reliability. SpaceX has often launched two or even three missions within a 24-hour period, a testament to its operational efficiency. With just one month left in the year, SpaceX is poised to reach even greater milestones with the Falcon 9. This incredible rocket continues to demonstrate its position as the most reliable and advanced launch vehicle in the world. And this is just the beginning. SpaceX envisions Starship with its massive payload capacity and full reusability as an even greater leap forward. The future promises unprecedented possibilities, starting with Flight 7 early next year. Are you ready to join SpaceX in this thrilling journey into the future of orbital spaceflight? Let me know in the comments section down below. Otherwise, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.